Hello everyone, this is Linda, and today I wanted to show you the project that I made for uh, Christy's uh, challenge giveaway. She's twins for me too here on YouTube. So um, yeah, if you, wa if you watched my last video, you know that I'm not home and that I brought very limited supplies with me. So I will um, show you what I used and uh, again, I apologize if um, this is shaky because I'm holding my phone and I'm not very good at that. So here we go. So um, this is the project that I made and everybody was supposed to make the same thing. And um, so it's not the best I've ever made, but uh, yeah, for not having anything to work with, I think it came out okay. Um, now the paper that I used was this, um, excuse me, let me get this stuff off. Um, the paper I used was this paper pack that I got from Tuesday morning, and then I used the black cardstock from this um, DCWV um, cardstock stack that I also got from Tuesday morning. So, and I used this sheet and this sheet. And I used two of each sheet because I did mess up a few uh, cuts and had to redo them. So anyway, um, yeah, so this is the, um, let me see if I can get a better angle. Okay, so that's the paper that I used. And for the trim here, I went to the Goodwill and I found a blouse that had this trim on it right here and it kind of went along this lines like this and I cut I cut the rose part off right here sorry for the shake I cut this little rose part off right here and it would have went right in here so I used the trim from the from that and then I used one of the doilies. And I didn't want it to be that color, although if I had to do it over again, I think I would leave it white. But at the time, I thought I would rather have some gray and pink in it. So I used this uh, VersaFine, let's see, what color is it? Um, pink Petunia, sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I used the pink petunia. I don't think it focused. And then I used the, uh, keep turning upside down, the London Fog. So that was what I used uh, to color my trim. Okay, for my closure, I didn't have a magnet. So I used. Um, this Velcro stuff here. Uh, the magnets that Michael sells are just too strong. So I did I did go to Michael's and I bought um, the Velcro to close it with. Now on the inside I used the business size envelopes and um, I would like to have had black ones but I had to use white ones. So I did the inside with the white envelopes and I used the same paper that I used on the outside end on the inside and there's three pockets and then for the photo pages I just used some black cardstock so yeah, that's my um, my project, and let's see, I did use this um, tacky glue here that my grandson had for a project that he's working on, and I've never used this before, and it really held good. It's very tacky. It's very sticky, and it, it just held that down really well. It only took a few minutes to dry, and I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Um, and to put my paper down, I didn't bring any score tape with me so and I didn't want to use liquid glue so I used this Tombow here that I had in my planner bag 
So yeah, that's it. That's my project for Christie's Challenge Giveaway. And um, sorry for the quality of the video. I know it's not the best. Sorry, I just put my hand in the way. Um, but anyway, um, just wanted to share this little project with you. And I'll put uh, all the information for Christie's Challenge below if anyone wants to get in on the fun. This was really easy to make. Really um, a simple project to do. And um, I had a lot of fun doing it. And I think part of the fun that I had was the challenge of not having all of my supplies that are in my uh, craft room. Because I know it would have been... Uh, looked much different had I been at home. Um, but that was the fun part too, was just trying to gather up the things I had to have to do it without spending a lot of money. And I think I did that. So it was fun. I've got less than $10 in it and I had a great time doing it. And so, yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. This is Saturday morning. I'm not sure when I'll put this up, but uh, anyway, um, thanks for stopping by and checking out what I've been working on, and I will talk to you later. Bye now.